Good morning. I'm really fortunate that I've been able to visit uh, New Zealand a few times because my parents lived there a number of years ago now. And I remember the time when me, a friend and my brother and his now wife went out uh, to visit. And we had a trip to Rotorua, which is a big lake in a very thermally active part of North Island. And there was one particular occasion while we were there that we were trying to visit somewhere in the town. And I was somehow ended up uh, leading that uh, walk. I had a map. And yet with a map, I still ended up taking us to a car park that stank of rotten eggs, sulphur, thermally active area. The reason I'd got lost was because in, the, um, in New Zealand, the sun is in the north in comparison to in this country when it's in the south. And I just got disorientated. Easy to do, isn't it? We'd certainly veered off to the left and to the right. And our, our proverb today is in the context of a few other verses that, that speak about similar things. It says this from verse 25. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths of your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil. There's a lot of uh, passages in the Bible that talk about walking a straight path or Jesus or, or got, got Jesus guiding us in a, in a straight path, that sort of thing. Which is interesting, isn't it? Because if you think about someone who is stopped for suspected drink driving, one of the things they're asked to do is to see if they can walk in a straight line. If not, they're, they're sort of being veered off in different directions. Or maybe if you don't keep your eyes fixed on the right place, you sort of get distracted by different things around you. And of course, that is going to be the case sometimes, isn't it? We are going to be distracted or disorientated, all of those sort of things. But I wonder whether today the reminder for us is to try to keep our eyes fixed on where God is guiding us, to not be distracted or to be disorientated, to know that he leads us in straight paths. How might God do that with you today? Bless you.